Hello, online pipe community. Ethan, parsimonious piper here. Missed Cobb Tuesday yesterday, but I did not want to miss discussing Ken Byron Ventures' Dark Fired Cherry. Why? Well, partly because I'm ready to move on. It's been two weeks. <laughs> In a tomato that definitely has some Prince family elements, three-star pipe by Lee, I have got a bowl of said KBV Dark Fired Cherry. It is listed as an aromatic. Don't let that entirely fool you. This is not a um, Lane Dark Cherry, Lane Very Cherry, Captain Black Cherry, um, Seven Seas Cherry aromatic. This is not a crowd pleaser. My wife does not like the room note of this at all. That said... It's got pretty good flavor. Uh, components are listed as Virginia, Cavendish, uh, Kentucky, and Turkish. On the foil package, anyway. Um, online descriptions vary, but I'll trust Ken and his packaging. First thing that I notice now... To remind any of you who uh, who don't watch my impressions, these are not real in-depth reviews. The, the, these are the impressions that I get from a tobacco after smoking it every day for a week, in this case too. And because I do not have a great sense of smell, I pick up the top one or two things in a blend, this, this from what I read after smoking a couple of bowls, I read online reviews. This has some complexity that I'm not getting. I was drawn to it because of the dark fired in the name. But alas, there are two types of dark fired Kentuckys. Generally speaking, you have the smoky barbecue type, which you will find in Mac Barron's Bold Kentucky or John Cotton's Double Press Dark Fired. And then you have a more floral, still smoky, but a more floral, not quite as tangy barbecue. -y. Um, type of Kentucky. This strikes me as a little more of the latter, and I was hoping for the former. If this were not billed as a dark fired cherry, if instead it were billed as a sour cherry or an oriental cherry, I don't believe I would have been disappointed. Uh, because what I do get out of this is the tartness uh, from the Kentuckys, the sourness and tartness from the Turkish. And if you hold the smoke back in the back of your mouth, just like with some foods, I, I get more of a tart cherry flavor to it than a sweet. It's not, this is not maraschino cherries. This is a, a dark cherries. They're tart. They're slightly sour. And they do taste good. I think my disappointment comes in that I was really, really hoping for more of the Kentuckys that, that, that I like the, um, the barbecue flavors. But this is not, this is not by any means a bad blend. The cherry flavor is really very good. It does not taste artificial in the slightest, the way some of those crowd pleaser aromatic cherries do. The 
this has a natural cherry, albeit sour cherry, flavor. And in that regard, it's very good. Uh, overall, out of my five stars, I I'm, I'm going to give this about a three and a half. Since my spreadsheet doesn't allow for that, it's going to get knocked down to a three. Mostly because I won't, I, I won't get any more of it. Not because it's a bad blend. For those of you who are looking for something with a little cherry flavor, don't care about the room note, uh, and would like something different, this is definitely that. This is not your goopy, over-the-top, cough syrupy cherry. Not at all. Um, Ken Byron Ventures has, uh, has definitely uh, hit a, a good flavor profile with this. I just want more of my kind of Kentucky <laughs> in it. Gonna have to start working on a Kentucky blend myself that does some cherry. But I think some of you who are put off by the barbecue Kentuckys are actually going to like this better uh, because of that more floral sour note to it. Well, I'm beginning to repeat and ramble, so I'm going to head out. You'll notice I'm in my office today. It is cold outside, so I am enjoying enjoying that indoor smoke. I, it'll likely be like this for the next couple of weeks while I enjoy the rest of this. You guys light something you like. Enjoy your afternoon.